Codex Astartes leaves no room for doubt. You cannot touch the warp and emerge unscathed. The Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us, shape us as ultramarines, teach us to hold duty and honor sacred above all. But how we live with those rules is the true test of a space marine. And you, a fail. Emotional damage! What's that? Ah. Hello everyone, I'm Dean. He's Dean. That's Donnie. I'm Donnie. There's our AD. I could use some water. <laughs> Let's continue playing some more Warhammer 40k. There's a lot of chaos. There, there's a lot of warp here going on here, yeah. <laughs> this, this is a problem. It's it's actually weird now having this context of what warp is. Is it, is it the same thing if in, the, in, in the fantasy setting, or...? Mostly, yeah. Like, okay. they, they, there's still like, just mention, like, yeah. friggin', um, what do you call that? Like, playing Vermintide and hearing about warp fire. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's not just funny green fire. Yeah, <laughs> it is... It is hell energy that will that will legitimately warp people. This man having oh he's monologuing. Yep, he's <laughs> having a whole ass ritual over there. You, you don't think you're gonna need the sniper rifle, huh? Ice cannon. I want a storm. Do you? Yeah. Storm Bolter, Last Cannon, regular ass Bolter. You don't want no, the Melta. I don't want the Melta. Okay. No, I left the Vengeance, Last Cannon. Okay, I think we're good. All right. <laughs> it's good luck, work. thing is. Is there any ammo? There's just no regular ass ammo. No. Damn it. All right. All right, let's go. That that's a that looks like a. You're already full up on ammo. <laughs> Hunt down Nimrod. Well, man against demon. I have come here to man suck against cave man, fighter of the night, man. <laughs> man against demon was not a popular show on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that's got to be like a Ghost Hunter style show where they go and investigate cults. I don't know, maybe in that way it's closer to fucking uh, Amish Mafia. Yeah. <laughs> that is not the weapon you have. There, no. there is no chain sword here. Right? No, there was no chain sword. It was just power. Like they started you with the hammer. Yeah. And there have been nothing but axes. Yeah. It's so nice think... of not to make us just take a knee and chop our heads off. Right. <laughs> well, but. Like, I, I don't get it. Why isn't he using the psychic thing? <laughs> well, he's too busy reveling in his, in his, uh, psychic, uh, can. Oh, classic. <laughs> he's... Uh... Oh. Or maybe he's just occupied? Well, again, yeah, he's, he's actually doing a ritual here, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe you didn't want to do that, like, in the middle of the active battle zone. <laughs> oh, I knew. You, no, you're sorry. still not safe. <laughs> that was fine. Okay. Action was coming. <laughs> and action so did. have I. <laughs> so, ah. Uh, yeah. Na, 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 na. God, I'm fucking the whole ass. Oh, no, I guess there is yeah, a Yeah, there is a sword. There you go. The game wants you to use it, Dean. You have to. <laughs> All right, you know, fine. Let's do it. Uh, Hell yeah. Nice cannon. 
I think you know, if I want the shotgun. Melter. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try the melter. Melter gun. Where's the melter? There it is. Melter, last cannon, bolter. Are you, are you sure you need the last cannon? No. I am. Yeah. <laughs> First thing, you were just suggesting it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, I think. There's no regular ammo. I, I think probably bomb. short range would probably be the better option. I guess, because I am going to be fighting. I, I feel like generally there's going to be shorter range things in front of you. But I, but I, I, here's the thing. I don't feel. I, I don't think the storm bolter is gonna fill any niche that the regular bolter doesn't already fill. I guess that is true. And you got up close damage. You got long range damage. And the, yeah, the last cannon. There are motherfuckers that are sniping you in the back while you're hiding behind cover. <laughs> I think you want a last cannon. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with that. Can you skip this. I think so. I'm just gonna mash one. There you go. You just shoot him. <laughs> I don't think so, but let's try. I guess not. I guess not, yeah. I think it's just gonna be wave hordes of, of enemies. So it's just a blind so, I guess. Which so which dude it's so dumb. No. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> so which dweeb is the dweeb that led the Ultramarines? Rabute Gilliman. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 a lot of the lore likes to focus on him because he, he is to the setting what like he, he he's been compared a lot to like Julius Caesar, in which sure. he was he was a a, a good uh, a man. Yeah. He's a good statesman, dude, but also you a good... You can't, you can't hide, dude. Oh. You cannot just sit and hide. What? Hold on, let's get my shield, please. Okay, here. Oh. Uh-huh. Damn! Is he still... Okay, he's, he's dead. Okay. Uh... Fucking name. Yeah, that guy. This is incredible that this gun went from, like, completely melting people to... <laughs> Yeah, three shots is probably enough. Right. <laughs> Oof. Um. I got a melting gun for anyone who gets close. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oh so shit. They, they ever have a moment where like the suns met up? And it's like. So what the fun? What what did uh, what father give you? Like what are you calling your group of marines? <laughs> It's like, oh, you know, I think we'll go with the, the War Ravens or whatever they call. <laughs> right. I, I don't and then this guy, like, and yeah. they, they, approach, they approach Rabunte Gilman, and they're like, so, so, so what are you doing? And he's like, I shall command the Ultramarines. <laughs> right. What? You can't, you can't just call them the Ultramarines. You're going to make the rest of us look bad. Like, we're not as good as you. <laughs> he's like, don't care, ultra marines. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Did you at least settle for super marines? <laughs> nope, ultra. Oh, for fuck. Already. Oh, there's two. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> you got that last guy. I did, <laughs> so that's what's for. We're gonna have to want to meet their bud. Just, uh, stop it! Stop! Stop wasting your melt bullets. Yeah, shoot that man again. This shoot one. That one. Okay. <laughs> Click on them. Click. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! I, I feel like. Yeah, you you don't want to use your melt gun against single targets. You can instant give. Multiple mans. Just just shoot all the mans. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> nah, no, Meltas, I think I can safely melt these fuckers with the hammers here. Oh my god, he doesn't care. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Don't die. Please don't die. Okay, okay, okay. I'm raging. I'm raging. God damn! Okay, I'm out of ammo. Fucking! Oh my god, oh, this is terrible. I have no ammo. Okay, this is a problem. Okay, I'm about to literally run out of ammo for everything. Hold on. In theory, I can whittle these guys down with the plasma pistol. Oh god. Oh, this is terrible. 
What? Why the plasma pistol? Because I'm literally out of everything. Well, I got some Volter here. Well, that's why I was telling you, stop it. Quit, you, quit wasting your big guns, dude. <laughs> Weren't these guys like a mini boss a second ago? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, throw a grenade at. No, more at your feet. Wow, those really <laughs> fucking bounce, huh? Yeah. Oh, for fuck. You did it. Kill that man. Fuck. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. There we go. That's the shit I've been looking for. Hell yeah. We should have been using this weapon the whole time. The right? axe is so fucking lame. <laughs> I I don't know how like you take a badass weapon like a freaking battle axe and just don't give it the most impressive kills possible. Right? <laughs> we did it. Really? I was it? No shit, of course not. <laughs> no, he's a day man. I am unassailable. The gods of chaos protect me with the very energies of creation. You forget, Nemeroth. I am no stranger to the touch of the war. I guess I mean he was using the chainsword in cutscenes. That should have been my cue. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some bayonetta shit. Right? Well, is it a not pit? quite. <laughs> you have a plasma fist. Oh! 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 Shit! What? Why are you punching him? You have a sword. <laughs> You're holding the sword. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> How is this what the game became? <laughs> yeah? It's a good thing there's no ground. When does it end? Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah, cut his face off. <laughs> Your shield appears to be gone. Oh my god! Ooh. <laughs> Say goodbye to your claw knucklehead. <laughs> you not have different guns? No, I, I'm stuck. Yeah. Oh. A true <laughs> <laughs> this is the dumbest bullshit. This is possible. this is so fucking meathead, <laughs> and I love it. God. <laughs> Because there's a story of shit like this. Like, apparently Robute Gilliman got ejected into space. He spent the next 12 hours just punching his way through, uh, through, uh, space, other angry chaos space marines. In the vacuum of space for 12 hours without a hard suit. <laughs> he was just that angry at them. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. He got ejected into I space. I guess that's why he's the Ultra Marine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More marine. Oh my oh. god! Oh. This is... <laughs> Form three. Fuck it. Look at this weird tail. We did it. Oh. I, I don't know. But... He's huh. dead though. So, but, he, so he wasn't willing to shoot it with a gun because it might open a gate to the warp. But no like doubt. breaking it with his bare hands. Yeah, sure, sure. I guess because he's resistant to the warp. I guess. <laughs> I guess he's also but, like three thousand miles in oh, the air. I guess too, but but that could still open yeah. a gate. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was maybe. the thing of it. Yeah. He was gonna go hand it off to some professionals. I but fuck it, break it. Are human. After all. Shut up, <laughs> left-headed. <laughs> just, he just chose the most neat-headed option, I guess, and it worked. Yeah, he Thankfully, was it worked. Heck, dude. <laughs> Thank Look, you. the adrenaline's pumping when you're in the, 
You just free fell and fought a dude in air. <laughs> I can't. Crush You're not thinking about skull anything. <laughs> in midair. Oh, for fuck. What are those? That's the death watch. They, are they here they... to watch you die? <laughs> no, they, they are specifically uh, here to hunt for a... Uh... Yeah, I was going to say, the man looks like Inquisition. Yeah. Yes? His injuries appear chaos inflicted. You are certain of this charge? Captain Titus has been corrupted by chaos, Inquisitor Thrax. I am no heretic. You lie! Only an agent of chaos could withstand such warp exposure. Here is the man. I sent the demon to oblivion. But did you have unholy assistance? We must know. You will submit to my authority, Captain, or the Inquisition must conclude that you have corrupted every Ultramarine under your command, not to mention those who stand at your side. Classic Inquisition. Fuck these guys. Ignore his threats. Come on. The Inquisition will destroy you, Mira, and the Ultramarines will be forever dishonored. Leave my brothers and the Lieutenant alone. I will come with you. I do not know why I can resist the touch of chaos, but I swear I will discover the truth. We will discover many truths, Space Marine. Codex Astartes leaves no room. Out. Fuck off! You cannot touch the warp and emerge unscathed. The Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us, shape us as ultramarines, teach us to hold duty and honor sacred above all. But how we live with those rules is the true test of a space marine. And you have failed. Damn. Get fucked. <laughs> this this is, again, like, this is why, like, some marines follow the Codex Astartes, well, by the way, which is written by Gilliman, to, to the, like, the letter, and then some of them, like, will, will absolutely disregard it completely. Titus is, he'll follow it, but to a certain point, which is, you know, he, he's the perfect example of how you should interpret the Codex. That is a rigid set of rules, nor is it to be completely discarded. And that's sure. fine. So, no. Oh, okay. Planetary invasion contained. Strategic assets secured. Ongoing status. Quarantined by order of Inquis Inquisitor Thrax. Recommended course of action. Investigate Tultramarine's Captain Titus for evidence of heresy. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so that's just where it ends? And that's just where it ends. So... Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And it took them ten years to make a sequel. Yeah, so... The... <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> here's, here's the thing, right? So we have no idea why. <laughs> yeah. Why. It, it, it's, it's just in, in up in the air. So the... I... I don't know if... Oof, oh. So... So don't get me wrong, right? Yeah. All this seems really fascinating. Yeah. But I swear to God, the amount of things that that you've told me that are just up for interpretation or purposefully left vague or shit like this, where it's like you you may never get a fucking answer. I can't stand it. <laughs> well, here's, there, there's yeah. like I uh the, the, I uh yeah. <laughs> um like there's. There's a difference between, like, things that you kind of bring your own interpretation to or, like, you know, are are left vague because they don't matter. And then there's this, which is, like, that the, that was a key element in the plot. And yeah. they, they didn't care to fill in that I, friggin' that, that gap. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, right, the idea was, was that they were going to do a sequel to this right after, but... Uh -huh. THQ folded 
That's why we True. never got. That's why it took so long to get a sequel because they got folded, and then the rights to this game got tossed around from developer to developer, and they didn't know what to do with it. But I believe the idea was they were going to explain why Titus was uh, warp resistant, and they were going to um, they were going to flesh all that out. And eventually, he was going to become a Death Watch Marine, which is a Marine that was. Uh, I believe Death Watch Marines are supposed to be the ones that specialize in uh, um, um, looking, rooting out uh, heresy. Like that's, I think that's the thing. I'm not certain, but that eventually they were going to go that route. But unfortunately, things happen in the gaming world, and we can't have nice things because of that. So, yeah, well, that's the, that, yeah. the. There are a lot of reasons to yeah. not leave a open end on. Like I, 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 I yeah. did. I get it. It's a cool game. I can see why they might have confidence that it would sell, and therefore yeah. <laughs> they would get a sequel. But uh, yeah, I don't believe in that too yeah. much. There's, <laughs> that, that's why like, I, I don't movies, know. <laughs> well, that's like why horror movies kind of end on a small stinger, not a full on. But where's the king? <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I just hate it when things aren't like fully contained. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I, I feel it's that. It's like... Yeah. Fucking... Like, imagine you just, like, stop Saw right when they're about ready to open the final door or something. <laughs> just, what? What? Where did that... What? Some movies so, and shit do that. So, I, don't, I don't know. It's yeah. fine, I guess. So, so the, the ultimate coda to all this, right, is that we know that there's a second one coming out. Uh-huh. And we also know that, uh... That... Titus will return, and he's sporting two more of the uh, the bolts in his head. So apparently he's... So it's like 200 years later? Yeah, 200 years later. And he doesn't have the answer. <laughs> I, I I feel like they're, they have to follow up on that. I don't know. No, like, yeah, yeah, they're going to follow up they on gotta... that. But if he has two bolts in his head, yeah. and that's like fucking that he's been cleared years of service, yeah. that means he continued to serve and never found the answer. <laughs> because we're going to find it out in, in game, game, right? <laughs> they're not just going to open up the game with like... Oh, yeah, it turns out it was a blank the whole time. It's <laughs> wild. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. I, he meets up with Leonidas here, and it's just like... Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, you still suck, but, you know... I, who, who even knew that was a thing <laughs> I did? Like, we, and we, we know that, uh... We also know that the main enemy in that game is going to be the Tyranid, but... As usual, like that's just the, the first trailers. Then there could obviously be more hiding in the wings. Right. Like we could get the Dark Eldar, the Necrons. So it's one of those regular guys. ass Eldar. Yeah, oh, yes, Necrons. <laughs> but um, I guess the 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 other co- the other coda to this too is that we know that because of certain advances and the tabletop game, Titus has been upgraded to what we call a Primaris Marine. <laughs> what is that? All right. So I've been waiting to, to oh. talk about this for a while. <laughs> Do we have the time? Oh, for fuck's the, sake. We got the time. Okay, sure. Yeah, so, lay, oh, but... lay your fucking lengthy ass story on me. So I mentioned way back in... <laughs> Are you done talking about the Horus? Yes, I, I pretty much fi- okay. more or less finished that. Okay. So, so... Were the... you done talking about the War Ravens? No. Oh, <laughs> I was okay. talking about the War Ravens, though, so it's fine. But... The, the, so I mentioned. What about the bear wolves? <laughs> I, I mentioned them, but it's that they're not they're not that important in the grand okay. scheme of things. Okay, but okay, the, go ahead. Continue story <laughs> about horse. So stop it! <laughs> stop distracting me. So I mentioned way back earlier about how stop it. <laughs> so lay on. So gonna look. <laughs> I mentioned way back earlier how the Imperial Guard was from. Do Kate. you think that? The new remake of Four is going to touch more on Leon and Ada's uh, relationship. Let's just take a look at you, you motherfucker. But like, talk about what happened with him and Claire and Sherry. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you, <laughs> dude. Fuck. Okay, tell okay, your story. Wait, yeah. Um. Fucking. What was I saying? Okay. So I mentioned Katie way back in earlier, right? The Imperial Guard. Yeah. Like, that's the, the the planet that was. Lieutenant. She's a yeah. uh, Cadian. And, That's what I was trying to talk yeah. about. Yeah. And the entire planet is supposed to be in the eye, or at least close to the edge of the Eye of Terror. That planet is gone because 
a fellow by the name of Abaddon. Like the, it's now it, gone. It is now gone okay. because a fellow by the name of Abaddon the Despoiler thought of you. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. his name. He uh -huh. was actually Horus's main lieutenant. He led what was the thirteenth Black Crusade, and a Black Crusade is whenever he gathers chaos forces and start goes outside of the Eye of Terror to, to terrorize nearby planets. He led the thirteenth Black Crusade out of the Eye of Terror and invaded Cadia. And for the longest time, uh, Cadia was actually holding out against the uh, against the hordes of chaos. So he got really pissed, and he crashed what was known as a Black Stone Fortress into the planet, which was an Eldar fortress, space fortress, that was just coated in, 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 in warp energy. He crashed it into the fucking planet, and it broke in half. It also turns out that there were a bunch of Necron pylons on Cadia that was holding the warp at bay. So the Eye of Terror then turned into the Great Rift. What was once just an area of, of warp has now literally split the galaxy in half. So uh, the Imperium by design is also split in half because of that. Okay. And they're kind of fucked. So, so shit is pretty fucking bad all around. Except for the fact that I I'm, <laughs> I, I mentioned uh, Gilliman earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Gilman. managed they managed to bring him back. He, they 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 healed him up, and now he headed back to Terra to talk with his dad, and he's kind of pissed at his dad because he he mentions, uh, and this is like me trying to remember the exact phrasing, but he mentions that. His his dad on the throne greeted him less like a lost son and more like a a, a carpenter greeting a favorite tool he hadn't seen in a long time. So he's got a little bit of daddy issues over that. His his the the corp, the god emperor is a little kind of a dick because of that. Like, but I thought he's a he's he's dead. He's he's dead, but he's he's still got his consciousness. Slave to the uh, to the throne and his like, body. What the fuck yeah. ever? Like, yeah. I went to go visit my dad while he was in his stupid coma, and he didn't say hi. What a fucker! <laughs> but, what? The, 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 what? <laughs> huh? But uh, I mean, how how, how much of him is there? <laughs> <laughs> but um, didn't even wipe the drool from his cheeks. What a <laughs> dick! But um. In addition to that, he, uh, it turns out that one of the- Ultramarines, assemble and mope. <laughs> like, what the fuck? In, in addition to that, it turns out the Emperor started another secret gene project. While he and, was comatose? Well, right before he got comatose. Oh, okay. And they've created what are now known as the new Primaris Marines, which are bigger, stronger, more marketable <laughs> Marines. <laughs> What? How is that just the thing you become, though? Uh, like, how does Titus become that? Uh, they have, they have, those, they have what's known as the the Rubicon uh, implementation, I think, where they can give you the powers of a space marine, but it's ridiculously dangerous because the strain of it can act does actually kill you. But if you're if you're you know within a handy distance of uh, you know the right people, they'll revive you, obviously. So, but, you know, it, it, it's very dangerous because it kills you and they have to revive you and not all the time does reviving you work. So, so what? So they put you through this thing, it yeah. kills you, it makes you, it, it like, makes you extra stronger. beef? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you grow like a foot. Like, these, these guys are like eight. <laughs> yeah, they grow another foot and they gain even more resistance to chaos. Damn, and dude. They're just like even badder ass. So, breeds. like, his dick, like, you know, Gain an extra one third of its length. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Let's go with that. One foot. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I guess it's a good time to be a fan of Warhammer because you know all these games, all these new. It's, games it's a good time out. to be a, a consumer of Warhammer. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not like a fan if you're making fan work. Yeah, but I mean, like we've got. I mean, this game is, 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 you know, everyone finally remembers this game, and now we're getting a sequel to it, which is awesome. Excuse me. Awesome. Demon Gate was just released. That's a fun game. It's it's a tactical game where you play as the Grey Knights trying to fight Nurgle, uh, Nurgle Plague. 
and you're trying to cleanse an entire sector against that. You've got a like Necromunda hired gun where you play as a, a bounty hunter on a fucked up planet of trash and you're looking for bounties throughout that place. It looks pretty cool. It's an awesome first person shooter. Bolt gun is coming out. That's just another boomer shooter <laughs> that everyone fucking loves. And then People we got like the boomer. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got like Dark Tide, which is I can't wait for that one. Like that's Yeah, just... that seems interesting. So it's it's all in all good 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 time to be a fan of I don't think it's consumer of. Okay. So that's that's just my, my shtick. Man. And Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak comes out in a few days. Oh my god, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Dude, shut yeah. up. I still have yeah. to go through Ed Walker. <laughs> I, I understand. <laughs> Fucking A. Oh my god. Anyways. Um, I had to stop freaking dicking around in Final Fantasy XIV, but now I have a third house to freaking decorate, <laughs> Oh, <dude>. shit. <laughs> nice. Huh? Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> we got through all the credits. Congrats. Right. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Uh, that's Warhammer 40k Space Marine. Thank you for indulging me on dumb shit that has been infecting my brain for the past year now. It's... I really like this. I'm sure we'll see more of it. Uh, <laughs> when's this, the next game come out? Uh, next year, okay. 2023, I think. Yeah. No, no, def, no definitive date. We'll be back in a year. Yeah, hopefully. Anyways, I'm Dean. You Dean. Got down. I'm done. There's our AD. Best friends. And let's. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Do you think they take giant space marine shits too? <laughs> Does he poop? Does he poop in his suit? <laughs> does the suit constantly whack him off like Mr. Chief? <laughs> does does he does he cock his suit like <laughs> Mr. Chief? <laughs> ah! It's here, the delicious last call. <laughs>